Hi guys, thanks for watching. I'm here with Amir's 27th week of life update. And um, I'm trying to find good light in this house because now that it's getting to be more towards winter and it's getting darker earlier, it's hard to find like decent lighting. <laughs> Not that I have like the best quality picture anyways, <laughs> or quality of video anyway, but I'm trying to do better. Um, until I can afford to buy a nicer camera. But anyway, besides the point, um, this is probably going to be super quick because not a whole lot has changed since last week. We still haven't had his um, doctor's visit for six, the six-month doctor visit, so I don't have his stats or anything like that. And Amir is in his saucer, so that's what you're hearing now. <laughs> um, his play saucer, extra saucer, I guess. Um, and he loves that thing. He absolutely loves it. <laughs> but anyway, besides the point, my cat's here to visit as well. So hopefully he doesn't jump over here to get in the way. <laughs> um, yeah, and we still haven't started him on solid food. And I did mention, I think, in some of my other videos that I wasn't going to start him on solid foods until his six-month doctor's visit. And I'm still sticking with that just because... I just don't feel ready. I don't know why. I know it's not a big deal and I know that I plan to make his own food and it's really not that hard. I know what I'm going to be doing. Um, I actually did bite the bullet and I bought the food finally or I bought the squash that I'm going to puree for him this weekend. So I have no excuse on Monday. I'm going to give him his food and we're going to see how that goes. And I have had friends that say that their babies only took like a spoonful a day for a couple of days and some babies that some of my friends' babies just dove right in. They were ready to eat right away. So I'm, I have a feeling that's going to be more like a mirror because he is a really great drinker and he is just he is ready to try foods because he's watching what we're eating. He's trying to grab and put it in his mouth. Um, he is definitely ready, so I think it's time. <laughs> um, we are still having the issue with his comfort, not issue, I guess, but his comfort sucking He or comfort nursing. That's what he wants to do to fall asleep, and pretty much that's the only way I can get him to fall asleep, except he might fall asleep if we put on baby Einstein, but I'm really... So I'm really trying not to do that. I don't want to get in bad habits, but either way, it's like really, if I give him a pacifier, that's a bad habit. There's always something that could be considered a bad habit. So I don't know. I guess you pick your battles, but the comfort nursing, which I'm trying to embrace is just like our cuddle moments, which is fine. But when I'm trying to get out the door and I'm in a hurry in the morning or I'm trying to go to sleep, that's not always the most fun way to fall asleep. And, um... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I still feel like he's still a little bit too young to cry it out. And I feel like that's like around seven or eight months, which I know it doesn't seem like a big month. But for infants, I think, you know, weeks and months, that makes definitely a very big difference. So I don't feel quite ready to do that yet. Let me know your opinion on this. I would really like to know. Uh, I know there's like tons of different um, opinions and theories out there, but I would just like to know what your guys' opinions are. Um... Also, uh, we didn't go to the baby wearing group. Um, I really wanted to go, but we went to the pumpkin patch that morning and, um, or actually that late, um, early afternoon, late morning, and it was so much fun. We had a great time. We went with his cousin and my cousin, well, his second cousin, I think that would be second or third cousin, whatever. <laughs> um, and she's only two weeks older than him, so it was a lot of fun. They were in the same age. They were interacting, and they were grabbing each other's faces and screaming at each other, you know, <laughs> like babies do. Um, they just... It seemed like they had a lot of fun, and we definitely did, and I got some really cute pictures of Amir and um, my cousin's baby with pumpkins, and I'm going to probably put one as a thumbnail here, so you'll probably have seen it. Um, but by the time we were done with that, um, it was just, sorry, my cat, stop it, bite that, jeez, oh, God, so, you're so irritating, <laughs> um, by the time we were done with that, it was just, like, too much, and Amir kind of had, like, a runny nose, and I was worried he was getting sick, um, so I was just like, you know, we'll just postpone that, because there's, I get emails about those things all the time, so I'm definitely planning on doing it, we just didn't do it, um, last weekend, and I'm really sorry, my cat's, like, here trying to play with me, um, and that's one thing I want to say, I was super worried that, like, if Amir, Amir is, like, obsessed with our cat, he loves him, he thinks he's the coolest thing ever, but, he is very playful, and he will definitely spat at you, and he will bite you like he's trying to do to me right now because he's, you know, playing. And I was really worried about 
Amir and our cat. But so far, um, Amir has grabbed his fur and pulled his tail. I mean, we try to limit that, but he's done it. And Inev inevitably, with his strong grip, he grip, he's been doing that. And the cat. He doesn't do anything. Um, he might, like, kick his hind leg a little bit to get him away, but he hasn't, like, scratched or bit him yet, um, knock on wood. And if he gets annoyed, he just goes away. But the cat has been um, coming back in our room and sleeping on our bed again. Um, we left the door open since about four months. We started opening the door for the cat, and um, he has finally come into our bedroom now and sleeping at the foot of our bed. So I think he's starting to get used to this weird little thing that creature hairless cat that we brought home so um th thankfully so far it doesn't seem like it's an issue but Amir's not mobile yet so we'll have to see um Amir also had a play date with our other friends or our friends who have a baby who is nine months who is obviously mobile um not obviously I guess but he is crawling and he was going after um our cat and our cat's name is Bita, and Bita just went in the other room just not to be bothered. So hopefully that won't become an issue, but definitely having this baby over at our house this past weekend lets me know what all I need to do to clear off our shelves in the next coming weeks because you never know when he's going to start crawling, and I definitely don't want him to get into anything or get hurt. So um, it definitely gave me a very good indication of that. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for, um, his 27th week update, and I will be back next week with his, um, six months dad updates and his solid food, so please wish me luck. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Thanks, guys.